It's really important to to have some people that have your back, that you really trust, that that you know you can talk to about what's going on for you. Um, what that support network is going to look like is going to be different for everyone. Um, so just the same way that some of us are introverts and some of us are extroverts, and we're kind of all on this bit of a t continuum. Everyone's different in terms of how many people they talk to about everything that's going on in their lives and you know how many people they you know catch up with at any point in time so you might be the sort of person who kind of before you were diagnosed only had like sort of one or two really really good friends that you talked to about everything um, or you might be the sort of person that you know had a huge group who all knew everything that was going on in your life so I think the support group that you create is going to depend a little bit on who you were before you got cancer and, and what kind of fits with you socially. Same with family. So some people have amazing supportive families, you know, really close to their parents, they tell them everything. You know, others of us have families that are more complicated or a little bit messy or, you know, have people in them that they, you know, wouldn't want to tell everything to. So I think there's no right or wrong support network. I think the right support network for you is just having, you know, a couple of people, a few people that, you know, you can talk to when you're feeling crappy or see when you, you're not looking your best or you know ask them to do stuff even if you're not someone who's used to asking for help. So I think thinking about you know who are the people in my life that I feel okay doing that with you know who are the people in my life that I'd be okay to see you know with my hair all messy or in my pajamas or you know before I've had a chance to have a shower. Who are those friends that I feel comfortable at that level with? Um, you know, another way to think about it is, you know, which friends of mine have I done that for in the past? You know, which friends of mine have I been a support for, you know, when their parents have been getting a divorce or when they've been getting crappy marks at school or when their dog died? Because I think if you think about those friends, if you were able to be there like that for them, chances are they might do the same for you.